homeowners aren't down with utility rates going up. The concern now turning to protest. Thanks for joining us here at 4M. Kirsten Joyce. I'm Brian Loftus. Southwest Gas was the focus of today's demonstration. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthew live in studio with the increase they're talking about, Ryan. Well, Brian Kirsten, they say the cost of purchasing natural gas has gone up, but the utility also reported $19 million more in revenue at the end of last year than 2022. So will your rate go up? There's potential starting in April, but it's a different increase than the others homeowners are already experiencing. I can't afford to live in my own home practically. Sandy Margulis wasn't expecting her winter gas bill to be $200 more than last year. This bill I received was just as high as my electric bill during air conditioning time in the summer. Sandra Bennett says her bill, on average, is 60 bucks. Then I get a bill for 200 and this month I got it for 278 I only heat my water. And young homeowners like 26-year-old Angeline are heated, too. I'm seeing how much my gas bill is increasing, and, and it's something that worries me. These people didn't know each other until Monday. They met over social media, all with the common concern of more utility hikes on the horizon. Gas is next. The Public Utilities Commission already approved a hike that hit in January. Southwest Gas argues the cost of natural gas is 75% more than two years ago. But most executives also made more than a million dollars in 2022. Monday, the PUC considers another 10% hike that would hit in April. Southwest Gas says the increase would cover 74 million in operational costs, most of those operations in Southern Nevada. They anticipate a monthly bill increase of about 850 for the average customer. We're not stupid people. We've done our homework. These customers believe they're trapped, forced to bear the burden of higher rates. I live on Social Security. Every dime, I, you know, I got to account for. And I can't, you know, next month they raise it again. I'm not going to be able to have gas then. I'm going to have to have it shut off. Now, keep in mind, Southwest Gas has a monopoly in Southern Nevada. They are the only ones who can provide this utility. And that rate increase you likely saw in January was requested in September. Ever since, we've asked Southwest Gas officials to go on camera to explain more. But Kirsten Bryant, that offer has not yet been taken up. Well, it certainly seems, Ryan, like these increases are happening all the time. How often can they actually occur? It's a quarterly system, so four times a year are when they actually go. They evaluate the rates. It seems we only report about them when they're up, but there are times where they actually go down. They tell us Southwest Gas says what you're paying for in your bill, it's mostly the cost of them buying the gas on your behalf, but then you also have the Public Utilities Commission saying that they can recover some of those incurred costs through rate increases, so that does include uh, labor costs in that sense. Wow, thank you for that clarification. Anytime.